um, going back to how do um, how do organizations evaluate whether or not to invest in a IT project or not? Uh, the traditional way of doing it is to use um, financial means, like um, um, cost uh, and technology, and where you use um, factors like payback periods, return on investment, discount, cash flow, um, issues like discounted care, rate of return, and so forth. These, I mean, these formulas can be looked up and um, so I'm not going to keep them here, but some of the problems that these are that um, the payback period is usually a push better if you get paid back sooner than later. But by some of these, the measures like the return on investment and discount and cash flow, they don't account for when the cost takes place or when the benefit takes place and how long the benefit might go on. So if you have something that you have um, a lot of your cost for from and then you see later on, and then you have this situation where a lot of your benefits are later on, and you have a lot of costs for you not to be able to fund. It takes you a longer time to become profitable. And in some, in some cases, it may be worth it to wait it out because then you can actually continue to get estimated for the benefits later in the future. So it, it doesn't show the variability these things over time. Do you have them fit the cost over time? So maybe high in the beginning and you take off and then the benefit. Maybe you get too many little in the beginning and you can see. But the question is how long does this go on? Does this increase? Um, and then the benefits uh, may be picked up sooner. Uh, and uh, can you, because uh, if you have a discounted rate of return, um, getting, uh, putting out money today and uh, having to borrow money today is just more expensive. So you want to kind of have the money as soon as possible. And then you may have, because of inflation, the value that you would be needing is just as a certain amount. If you have a dollar today, it may not be worth as much as a dollar tomorrow. So the value of the dollar goes down maybe every time. So you have to consider these things at times in the picture. So that's some of the differences of just using some of these types of um, but uh, where do the costs come from? Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot of uh, different types of costs. Hardware costs, software costs. Hmm. I mean, some of these are pretty just physical. Um, costs are pretty just physical items. And then there may also be uh, human resources costs and, 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 and operating costs um, that have to do with and um, then some of the costs that can be added to us is uh, upfront costs is for the initial implementation, for the initial investment, and then ongoing costs, the costs that can continue to exist over time, like maintenance costs. And uh, so all of these things need to be considered like a lot of times these are the initial investment costs. And these are the ongoing maintenance costs, so the ongoing costs. And so um, these have to be considered together in the total cost of the project. Um, there's different kinds of benefits as well. So some benefits, they call them uh, tangible, because these are benefits that can be measured. And so if I am um, requesting um, Million to one of my service centers uh, in this one type of population, and then if I invest in some IT, it costs me 8 million to from my customer center. Then I have a 2 million savings. So that's like a tangible, measurable savings of cost. 
specifically within the spending month of one reliability. Okay. 